A man wants to capture a little boy in order to prevent himself from getting weak. Another powerful figure vows to save the boy because if the boy is not saved, the world would be full of evil powers. Let's see how he goes about it. Welcome to Movie Recall. In today's video, we will be going through the 2011 movie Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance. It's time to recall, let's get started, turn on subtitles and spoilers ahead. The movie starts and we see our main character named Moreau. He reaches a fort in Eastern Europe on his bike. There he sees a monk and asks him if the kid is going to be safe there. Moreau however says he thinks that he is going to have to take the kid away because the people who have been looking for this kid are really dangerous and as they talk, they are attacked by an armed group of people who go on to rain down bullets on everyone in their tracks. Moreau also goes on to shoot at them and this is when we see that kid, his name is Danny, who is the son of the devil. There we also see the boy's mother who is called Nadia. Both mother and son try to get out of there alive amidst the attack. The thugs, however, go on to chase them, and they are led by a man named Kerrigan. Moro is driven off a cliff before he shoots the mercenaries' tires, delaying them before they can go after Danny and Nadia. He survives as a tree breaks his fall. With the son and mother saved, the scene changes to our main character, Johnny Blaze. We go on to learn that Johnny has not been a ghost rider for the last eight years. Moreau, after letting the mother and son go away, makes his way to Johnny's house. He tells him everything, but Johnny does not believe him and goes on to attack him. He asks him who he is and what he is doing there. Moreau tells him that he is well aware of who Johnny is and he needs his help. Johnny asks him why in the world he would help him, and Moreau tells him that he is well aware that he has the soul of a ghost rider in his body and that he wants to get rid of it. He gives him an offer, he tells him that if he is willing to help him, he could try to help him get rid of the ghost rider inside his body. Moreau says that he just has to do a simple job. There is a little kid and his life is in danger. The kid is on the run and very dangerous people are looking for him. He tells Johnny that if he is able to save the life of the boy, he could help him get back his own soul, the one that actually belongs to Johnny Blaze. Johnny agrees and the scene changes to Nadia and Danny who have become thieves in order to survive. But that night, Kerrigan and his whole team go on to follow them yet again. They want to catch them both and bring them back to the devil. On the other hand, we see Johnny Blaze, who is now transformed into his Ghost Rider form and is ready to get started on his mission. As we know, the Ghost Riders can smell the evil. Johnny goes on to do the same and get to the place where Nadia and her son are just about to be shot by Kerrigan. Ghost Rider shows up and right away attacks the people surrounding them. Kerrigan tries to fight back as he shoots him with his shotgun and rifle, but to no avail. Kerrigan sees that the creature standing in front of him is invincible and manages to sneak out of there. In the meantime, a drop of Danny's blood touches the ground and this is when the Ghost Rider starts to lose his powers. As Kerrigan sees that, he comes back and attacks Johnny again. The scene then changes to a hospital. Johnny wakes up in a hospital where a nurse asks him how he's doing. When she asks him about his bruises, he tries to dodge her questions and as the nurse goes away, Johnny manages to get out of there. He spots Nadia trying to find a place to stay low and Johnny follows her. The scene then changes to Kerrigan who now has the boy, Danny. He goes on to call Rourke, the main devil of this story who happens to be the thug's boss as well. He tells him that he has the kid, but Rourke is going to have to pay them double the amount they decided before. He tells the man that he was only told to kidnap a kid. He did not know that he was to fight a ghost rider. He tells Rourke that if he wants the boy, he is going to have to pay as Kerrigan demands. He also asks him what he is to do with the kid as he has been really worrying him. The man tells him to put the kid on the call with him. When the boy talks to Rourke, he says nothing but one word and the boy goes unconscious after a loud shriek. Kerrigan is shocked at this. He asks him what he just did and Rourke tells him that he has put a lock on the body of this kid, adding that the Ghost Rider is not going to be able to find this kid now. Rourke, however, adds that the Ghost Rider could definitely locate Kerrigan, so he is going to have to be on his marks all the time and maximize his security. Rourke tells him that he is going to be there to retrieve the kid as soon as possible. Johnny, on the other hand, catches up to Nadia and asks her why she is running from him. He tells Nadia that he saw her last night, and he asks her where the kid is. She then goes on to tell the man the whole story. Nadia says that Kerrigan has been following them for a long time. She reveals that Kerrigan is her ex-boyfriend and they used to live together. He was really rich and he had guns, cars, and loads of money. She says that she was in need of all these things, so she agreed to live with him. Johnny then goes on to ask her if Danny really is her son and she says that the boy is hers but Kerrigan is not the father. The father of the child is Rourke. Kerrigan on the other hand makes his way to his friends who are heavily guarded and happen to have heavy ammunition as well. In the meantime, Nadia and Johnny find a man who knows a lot about Kerrigan. 
When they talk to him, the man goes on to reveal that Kerrigan has taken the boy to a building that is still being constructed. As he tortures the man for information, he goes on to change himself to Ghost Rider, but controls his body, because if he fully gets into his Ghost Rider form, he will be revealed to everybody, and he could also be dangerous to Nadia. After extracting all the needed information from the man, he makes his way to the location where Kerrigan currently hides. He also gets to know that the Ghost Rider is on his way and gets ready to fight. Kerrigan prepares himself with an army of his men, including a rocket launcher that could hopefully defeat Johnny. The Rider appears and a battle ensues while Nadia frees Danny. The Rider makes short work of the mercenaries by riding a Bagger 288 and defeats Kerrigan. As Nadia and Danny escape, the Rider catches up to them and attempts to kill Nadia. The next morning, the three of them sit in a restaurant having breakfast when Johnny tries to talk to the kid, but the boy does not seem too interested in talking. Rourke approaches Kerrigan, who dies in front of him. However, Rourke resurrects him as a being known as Blackout, who can render a person's environment pitch black and decay anything he touches. Rourke sustains some injuries due to his weak state on Earth and sends Blackout to retrieve Danny. We then go on to learn that Rourke's body is getting weaker day after day. In order to make his body powerful again, he is in need of a body that has been born with his own. We know that Danny is his own son. He is someone who was born from his seed, so he wants to play a ritual on the boy in order to transform his body into his, and that way, his body will be young and strong all over again. On the other hand, Johnny, Danny, and Nadia make their way to the old fort. This is in Eastern Europe and the fort is an ancient one. The people in that fort live just like their ancestors and they have nothing to do with the modern inventions of the world. They do not even have any electricity in the fort. The only light they use is the sun and at night, the moon. There they see Moreau and his old monk. It turns out that these people are the one who actually tasked Moreau to save and bring the boy to the fort. The monks there, including Methodius, ensure the protection of Danny. Before the exorcism, Moreau explains to Johnny that the rider was once the Angel of Justice, Zarathos, but was tricked into going into hell and was driven insane. Retaining his sense of justice, Zarathos became a spirit of vengeance, an entity who took pleasure in punishing the wicked regardless of their crimes, although Johnny questions if Angel's benevolent spirit still exists. Johnny is successfully exorcised, but Methodius reveals his treachery and plans to kill Danny to prevent the devil from taking over his body and achieving higher powers. Johnny, Moreau, and Nadia are imprisoned as Danny is about to be executed. However, Blackout arrives and kills Methodius and the monks, retaking Danny back to Rourke. Nadia is devastated by what has occurred, but Johnny swears to rescue Danny, even though his powers have been removed. Nadia tells him that she knows where they must have taken the boy. Moreau said that they are going to have to fight many people now, so they are going to need a lot of weapons. They then go on to get themselves armed with the deadliest weapons out there. That night, Rourke goes on to start the ritual that he has been planning to perform to refresh his powers and make his body as strong as it has ever been. As it goes on, Moreau, Nadia, and Johnny also get there. As they enter the place, they find many bottles of ancient wine. One of the bottles is over 2,000 years old. Moreau goes on to drink it, and Johnny asks him if it is really a good idea to get drunk when they are about to fight such an important battle. Moreau, however, tells him that he thinks it's perfect and goes on to drink it. He addresses God and asks for forgiveness for the sins he is going to commit, but he has no other choice. The fight begins. Rourke goes on to face Johnny, but Johnny is too powerful for him. Rourke might know magic and many rituals, but his body is too weak to fight. When Johnny lands a punch on him, he goes down. Johnny tries to save Danny as he shouts at the boy to get out of there, but the boy does not listen as the rituals have started to take effect on the kid and he seems to be oblivious of whatever is going on around him. The boy finally gets up, but he goes on to attack Johnny. As he attacks, he is reminded that there was a time when the Ghost Rider saved him. He learns that Johnny is not a Ghost Rider anymore, and this is when he goes on to give him all the powers of a Ghost Rider, and this is how Johnny is back to being a Ghost Rider yet again. As they try to get out of there with Danny, Kerrigan shows up and a fight begins. In the fight, Kerrigan manages to put down Moreau. He also tries to stop the Ghost Rider, and in the meantime, Rourke takes advantage of the opportunity presented. He takes Danny and gets out of there. Rourke gets into his car and drives on, but he is followed by the Ghost Rider on his ghost bike. Ghost Rider himself is being followed by Kerrigan, who tries his best to stop him. It, however, does not turn out to be a good idea, as the Ghost Rider gets sick of him. He attacks him with all his might and finishes him off. He now has his flamed chain in his hand, using which he tries to stop the van in which Rourke is trying to take away Danny. 
As Rourke drives on, he speeds up as much as he can, trying to lose Ghost Rider, but his car crashes into a big boulder and they go flipping on the road. The car with Rourke and Danny inside finally comes to a halt. The Ghost Rider approaches them and he right away goes on to drag the devil out of the car. The rider says that Rourke has done enough evil on Earth, the devil only belongs to Hell and he needs to be sent to Hell right away. Devil then goes on to declare that Johnny is the worst deal he ever made. The rider then literally sends Rourke back to Hell, slamming him into the fiery depths of the Earth. Nadia catches up but is dismayed to find the rider pulling Danny's lifeless body from the wreck of the car. Nadia sees him coming with the boy's dead body and she is heartbroken. She tells the rider they tried their best to save the child, but it seems like it was not meant to be. The rider is also heartbroken at this, and this is when he goes on to remember something told to him by Moreau when the rider was trying to get rid of his powers and return to being a normal man. He tells her that the actual ghost rider was sent to do justice with the people on Earth. He was not sent to fight the evil powers, but with the passage of time, the ghost rider changed as he started fighting just with the people who were spreading evil and did not care about the fact if justice was prevailing or not. For a long time, he has not been focused on saving the innocents, he has rather been focused on punishing the bad ones. Reverting back, Johnny says that he feels the Angel of Justice reawaken within him once and resurrects Danny with Angel's blue flames. The boy finally wakes up and both Johnny and Nadia take a sigh of relief. Johnny has done his job, he has saved the boy and finished off Rourke, the devil. The Ghost Rider's yellow flame now turns into a blue flame. Johnny then rides off, now engulfed in holy blue flames, declaring that he is the Ghost Rider and he has both powers to make justice prevail and fight evil. With that, the movie comes to an end. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and click the bell icon to get new movie recaps.